check this out. I'm going to say the magic words, and then I'm going to make something appear out of thin air. You ready? Esturas, Beardius, Maximus, Wabba! Yeah! All right, so I'm not a real magician, right? But I got a real cool video for you guys today. What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Jersey Joe. Let's get into the intro and do what we do around here, shall we? Every now and then when you're doing a review, you get a company who blows you away with their scent profiles. Or you'll get a company that blows you away with their feel and beard. Or their presentation. Or, or whatever it might be. When you get a company that kind of checks off each one of these boxes, that's when, as a reviewer, we really start to get excited. And that's what started to happen with me when it came to this company right here, Magic City Beards. Now, before we get into anything else, let's talk about the facts here real quick. Let me give you just a quick rundown on the prices, ingredients, and all that good stuff. And then we'll get into the fun of how it felt in beard, how it smelled and all that good stuff, shall we? All right, pricing, oil, $22.99. Hold on, let me, let me finish everything before anybody says anything about the pricing, hold on, okay? Butters, from $26.99 to $29.99. Bombs, $18.99 to $19.99. Um, an oil butter combo goes from $47.99 to $44.99. Yeah. And then an oil bomb combo, $38.99 to $36.99. Trios, anywhere from $62.99 to $59.99. That's right, a trio. Oil, bomb, butter, right? All three of them. The ingredients is why the pricing's a little high. The Magic City is a company that is known for its ostrich oil heavy blend. And ostrich oil, just like emu oil, is a little bit on the more pricey end of one of the carrier oils that you can use. Now, what I love is, I'm going to show you the ingredients here because I'm pretty sure you can read them. Look at how clear that is on this orange bottle, okay? I'm still going to read them for you, don't worry. But I just wanted to show you that. You got ostrich oil, coconut oil, shea, shea olein, argan oil, jojoba oil, okay? And again, what I love about this bottle is, it's very informative, bright, inviting. I mean, dude, if this thing was sitting on a shelf, it's grabbing your attention, okay? If that's sitting there, just like that, it's going to grab your attention. It also has a how to use section on it, okay? And it breaks down the scent profile right there, okay? These little bottles are amazing, man, and I just love the bright orange we got so used to the amber bottles in the game, right? So many people were doing them that when I saw these, I got pretty excited. I won't lie. I, I, I was a little bit excited. I'm like, that that's kind of cool, man. That's something different to have amongst your collection. It, it's very interesting, different, unique. It stands out, right? And then the butter right here. I've got the Atlantis butter for you guys today. The butter has... Shea butter, mango butter, and the carrier oil blend of ostrich oil, coconut oil, shaolin, argan oil, and jojoba oil. Same thing with this label here, okay? Very clean, easy to read, and once again, the scent profile broken down for you on the side there. So, right off the bat, you see everything clean, it's advertised well, it pops, it is a beautiful looking company, man. The ingredients are definitely on point, and the pricing, again, while maybe you might look at it and say it's on the on the higher side, you have to understand the cost of the ingredients that goes into the products, right? So how did the products actually perform in beer? So as I said, Magic City is known for its ostrich oil blend and its, its bright orange bottles. Let's just be honest here. The bright orange jumps out and it catches you. The ostrich oil... Everybody's always curious about it. it. The thing I get questioned about the most between this and a, another company that uses ostrich oil as its primary carrier oil, people always ask me, how does ostrich oil work for you? How does it work in your beard? And what I'm learning is that my beard quite loves ostrich oil. So as long as you don't do anything to mess up the process, I, you know, whatever might be done behind the scenes, whatever when you're making it, I don't know. But as long as you don't do anything horrible to mess this up, my beard is going to love the feeling beard when you have ostrich oil 
in your products and Magic City does a great job of it. It is a very nice blend. It is a clean blend, okay? It is a medium to thick viscosity. Now understand, man, Ostrid oil is not a thin oil. It is on the thicker side. And even the butter, when you scoop it out, it has a certain thickness to it. But that's not a bad thing, okay? It is a beautiful butter that works very well in beard. Everything you have from this company, when you put it in beard, gives you a nice, soft, easily managed beard. It's one of those products where your beard responds to the products well, not in just the way it feels, but in the way it's able to be maintained. Your styling, all those things work very well. Again, I absolutely love the butter. It is by far my favorite here, okay? The oil's very nice, don't get me wrong. I'm not dissing the oil at all. But this butter, for me, is a superstar. And as you can see, I've done a decent amount of damage to mine already. It feels amazing. It carries the scent very well, which we're going to get into the scent profiles here in a minute. It carries the scent profiles very well. It works amazingly. And the oil, this is an all-day oil. And what I mean by that is not that it'll carry every scent profile all day, because I found varying time frames for each one. What I mean by an all-day oil is, is you don't have to reapply. Your beard feels great all day long. It's amazingly soft. It's nice. Very well done in the feeling beard. Great, great job at making a product that makes the beard just feel amazing. Plain and simple. Now let's break down these scent, couple of these scent profiles. I've got three different scent profiles for you guys today. I've got the Old Cutler. I've got Midtown. And I have the Atlantis for you. And the funny thing is, I love having conversations with owners of companies about their scent profiles. I love hearing what an owner has to say to me, right? When, they, when he sent me out um, the Atlantis, my apologies. When he sent me out Atlantis, he said, it's an oud like you've never smelt before. It's something different and unique. And I, I think he was trying to warn me on that one in case I was, you know, one of those old school oud heads who liked his oud to be certain way me i'm a unique guy i want things to be different i want a scent profile i've never tried before that's what i want i want something different and with atlantis he absolutely nailed it okay the scent profile on it is simple it's right here on the bottle okay clear as day again i love the all the information he has on these bottles absolutely beautifully done there mysterious oceanic oud and it's just that it's different it's clean, inviting. It's got almost a spicy twist to the finish of it. It's not your typical oud. It's very different. Almost think like an oceanic cologne type with a spicy twist to the finish of it here. Very nice. Very, very inviting. Okay. My only complaint about Atlantis is, is that it's not quite as strong as I would like it to be. And didn't last as long as I would have liked it. I got about three to four hours out of Atlantis. Um, generally speaking, I like to get at least four to five hours. I know, I know, I know. We're being we're being bratty and picky when it comes to these things lately. But hey, that's our job, right? So besides that, though, this scent profile is absolutely amazing, and I enjoyed every second of it. Old Cutler, on the other hand, is another one that's described perfectly. It says a smooth leather cologne. Yes, that's right. I know all you leather heads out there are all freaking out right now. He said leather. Did you hear him? I heard him. I heard him too. He said leather. Did you hear him? That's right. I said leather. Relax. Calm down. Let me finish the video, okay? The old cutler, plain and simple, it says a smooth leather cologne. See? Right there on the bottle. Again, beautiful job at breaking everything down. So informational on these bottles. Smooth leather cologne, and that's exactly what it is. It is a blending of different leathers to make a very nice leather cologne. Now, here's the thing, right? Everybody knows, if you watch me, I'm not a huge fan of overpowering on the leather scent profiles. It drives me a little bit nutty when it's supposed to be a blending of different profiles together with the leather, and all I get is the leather. That bothers me a little bit. But when you have a scent profile that is basically a blending of leathers, well, then guess what? It's supposed to smell like leather now, isn't it? 
I've said leather like 30 times in this video, man. This is going to be like the Leatherhead's favorite videos. Ken's going to give me a million thumbs up on this thing. <laughs> when it's supposed to smell like leather and that's what it smells like, boom, there you go. So if you're a huge leather fan, then Old Cutler is definitely one you want to get your hands on. It is exactly what it says it is, a smooth leather cologne it is very strong on the leather and it lasts a long time man that one is strong it lasts and if you're again if you're a leather fan it's a must to the collection and last but not least for you guys today we have the midtown okay and again like all the others midtown has its scent profile right there on the bottle but i'll read it to you guys so you can see we have smoked leather oud dark musk, cedar, and more. Now, what I don't get a lot of is the smoked leather. I just, I don't smell a lot of the smoked leather in there, but the musk, the oud, those things, I get. The cedar, I get. Very nice scent profile, very unique in its own ways, but I really don't get a lot of that smoked leather, even when I took it out and warmed it up, I did not get a lot of the smoked leather. So if you're going into this thinking about the smoked leather end of things, it's just not a part of the profile that really pops for me. However, Midtown is unique and different in all the ways that I enjoy. It is dark and different, man. It is so nice. I just, I was very surprised by it because again, when I hear smoke leather, I'm like, I think that's going to be one of the more powerful parts of the fragrance. And it's not. So therefore, all I can think is, he must have blended this really well together. Came out really good for a unique, dark, and intoxicating scent profile that is different than all the others here. Now, one thing I can say about Magic City is, each one of these scent profiles is very different than the other, which means he's not afraid to take chances and that's what we like in a company, man. So, well done on all the scent profiles. Now, would I recommend Magic City? I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? So, taking all things into account, including the pricing on this one, I would have to say I would absolutely recommend Magic City. I believe that their pricing is on point with their ingredients and their product. I believe that the product warrants the pricing that it's got. It is a unique look. It is beautifully put together here the scent profiles are unique each one in their own way and i didn't dislike any of them did i have my favorites of course everybody's got their favorites right but i didn't dislike anything here and to me again the true superstar for magic city is their butter man it is a beautiful butter that works amazingly well in my beard so i would 100 percent recommend Magic City to any beard enthusiast out there. If you haven't tried this company yet, you absolutely should. It is Jersey Joe approved 100%. That's going to wrap it up for us today, guys. I want to thank everybody for coming in and checking out today's video. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for coming and checking out the video today. You guys know how much I appreciate you. And if it's your first time, if you just found the channel, man, please, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you can check out all the content I have coming your way. And if you like today's video, do me a favor, leave me a thumbs up, maybe even a comment if you want to. Guys, I promise you I'm back. I, I had to get my mouth fixed. I had some issues going on. Every Tuesday and Thursday, the videos will be back. Every Sunday, we will be live. Jersey Joe is back. I'm back to grinding. So let's get it. Let's do our thing. You guys know how it ends around here. Please, please stay safe. Be good to each other. Take care of each other. And I'll see you guys on the next one.